many children for so many places, three different orphanages, got new fridges, new microwaves, their computers upgraded, uh, utensils, tables, TVs, uh, a ton of amazing donations from all of our IQers. I just came up and gave you hugs and just made you feel super welcome. And it really resonated how impactful it was for us to be able to be there with them and uh, how much they just appreciated having people around and being able to just spend a day with them. Really, really kind of warmed your heart a little bit. Then we got here to the resort and it was, you know, oh my gosh, like their eyes just lit up and they're like, wow, and they're greeted by all these superheroes. And then we went in and they saw the pool, they saw the kids pool and it was just like, Yes! It's easy to, to kind of take for granted, uh, I mean like a pool. We, we deal, we, we, we're in pools all the time, we're at an all-inclusive resort. Um, and these kids don't have that. To, to get to bring them into like uh, a really fancy resort and give them the experience that we got to, amazingly fulfilling day. A 14 year old son at home and we do the same things and it was just like these kids are just kids and you know what we're experiencing here with them is just so special because they just want to be kids and they were able to, to do that. It was super special. Before this, I always thought I don't get along with kids. So, but after this, I loved him so much and kind of want a kid on my own. So, Chris, we're going to get busy. <laughs> it was so incredible to see these kids when we got off the buses, went into their orphanages. They didn't see the things that we had to give them. They just saw us. And all they wanted was love, just pure love. and. That in itself was just amazing to see and have these language barriers not hold anything back but just show them a great time and really connect and take these memories home forever. They were super fun, they were pretty fascinated by my tattoos and they were touching my skin and translating everything into Spanish and they were super cute. They loved our phones, they weren't allowed to play with them but they still loved them and they would try to sneak around the corner so they could get photos. Edgar was the exact same age as me. He would start playing with me and he loved the game and he didn't have any chocolate back where he lived and he didn't actually have any more with that. But me and Edgar had lots of fun together. It was lovely and probably the hardest thing for me was to say goodbye to him. So, yeah, that was my experience. It was rough letting him go because he deserves such a bright future and I hope he gets it.